All right, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Spring is here. Beautiful weather is on its way, finally. All right, so markets running up all week here. Not bad. Best week in a long time. I do not want to get money, what do I want to call it? I don't want to get overexcited here about you know, bullishes, bullishes, that's not even a word, bull, bull, bullness here, and see us, you know, hyped up for returns of highs. While I would like that, there is still a lot of um, stuff going on out there that's going to, you know, that literally overnight can cause the market to drop. You know, Russia, Ukraine, uh, for one thing, inflation and the other, all that jazz. So I want to be cautious going into this week. You know, like I said, it was the best week since pretty much, I think it was November. So while I hope we keep on running up, you know, let's just play it with caution. So I only got three on watch here. And, you know, if markets open red and it looks like we're going to have a bad week, then obviously call an audible, use your best judgment and, and search for another stock. But going into this, okay, the first one that I'm looking at here is going to be IYR, right? The real estate ETF. That it took a big hit from its all-time highs, dropped all the way down, you know, right around 97 and has now been building up a squeeze super strong and is pushing back up. We got that 821 crossover, we're closing above the 50-day. The only set of resistance now is that 200-day. So if markets are stay strong, I think we're going to blow right through this and see the 107 8 retest and head back up. So with this going on here, I am looking at, it's going to be May, okay, May monthly here, IYR is not the greatest liquidity in the weekly, so we're going to just go all the way to May, this is going to give you two months for it to work out if needed, and it's a little illiquid just regardless, so don't give up too much trying to get filled on this, but I'm looking at selling those 94 puts, that is way out of the money, okay, let me just show you here way out of the money, well past the low from recently. So if it continues this track up, you'll be out of this in no time. It's going to be about an 89 pop. So really good play here. Call it a dollar. Call it right on the right on the bid. All right. Call it a dollar and it's less than a grand to put on. Okay. And again, like I said, pretty much a 90% pop. Now, if you need to go defined, you can do that. Let's see here. Um, just to show you the, the, the credit is not there on a $5 wide. All right, it's just 90 cents. So you got to be okay taking a little bit. You'll probably come in here and do a, a 2 or $3 wide right around the 102, 101s. All right, <clears throat> which is going to give you at the 102.98, that $4 wide. It's still a little low, but call it 85 cents with two contracts. You'll be all right. It's going to give you a 65 pop. And that 102 is down at support. So it's not too bad. Just don't give up too much of this credit because of the widespread, so, right? The next one that I'm looking at is going to be pen. Okay. And this one, it's, it's, a, it wasn't as crazy volatile and running up as, as the rest of stocks is you know, last week. So we had that run down. We're, we're consolidating here. You can see some upward momentum coming in, but it's not hundred percent strong like some of the other stocks. So I don't mind this one doing more of a neutral. We'll lean it a little long in case it does take off, but we'll also get that put so far out of the money that you have a little bit of reasonable support. So as you can see, I'm looking to cover a good run, potentially up to the 200 day while covering the most recent lows and giving a little bit more wiggle room here. All right, so with that one, this one's gonna be in a weekly. This is April 22nd, which right now is 33 days, tomorrow will be 32. Uh, there's a very limited volume out here, so Play with it, but don't give up too much credit. I'm looking at selling those 35 puts at the 10 delta and the 60 calls at the 6 delta. It's going to lean it a hair long, but also give you about $4 past the expected move to the downside. It gives us 86 pop, I would say right around 65 cents plus or minus. Two contracts, $900 to put on, and like I said, it leans about nine deltas long, but plenty of wiggle room. Okay. Don't go chasing it though if you can't get the fill. Find a spot you're okay with. I would actually even be okay with me taking 60 cents. Okay. And then the last one that I'm looking at is McDonald's as a uh, poor man's covered call. Now you can do this as a covered call as well, but 
but I'll show you why I like the poor man's a little bit better uh, and it's more just because of the uh, capital requirements so as you can see here McDonald's really fell from its all-time high starting to push up with the rest of the market <laughs> so uh, and, and a lot of run room to get there so I really do like this as a bullish play but only if markets sustain themselves and continue running up. If they fall back down, yeah, with that with that short call, you can make some, you know, lower your cost basis. But I do like it. I feel like it's dropped a decent amount, and we can start seeing this heading back up. Okay, so the way the poor man's cover call works, what that is is you're gonna sell a call in a short time frame, and you're gonna buy a call in the money on a farther out time frame and it's still a bullish play you just write it out to your satisfactory profit okay which it, it will not tell you because it's two different expirations all right <clears throat> so what i'm looking at is the april weekly they are a little wide so you might have to play with this but sell that 30 delta so at this whoops what did i do you off and sell the 245 calls you can be a little bit more conservative Come down here and sell the 250 calls if you wanted, okay, in, in the April si cycle. Okay, then you come out to at least, I would say, at least 180 days, okay, and buy like a 70 delta call in the money here, okay, <clears throat> and then right around call it $24 in debit. So, like I said, this is going to cost $2,400. Essentially, you'll just, it's a bullish play. You want it to run up, you're going to make money off the long call. And if your short call gets exercised, you just go ahead and exercise the long call and you keep the profit uh, difference there. And let me just show you what it would be as a regular covered call. That was $2,400. On a poor man's covered call, you also don't collect the dividend. Now, McDonald's has a nice dividend of $1.38, but it's going to be a little expensive. So if I come in here, show you the short call, we'll even go here. Okay, it's eleven grand. If you have the capital to do that, great. Okay, you're going to make a nice dividend, it's a good play, and you can write it out. But, poor man's cover call is only $2,000, so it's a little bit better. So if you're not really worried about collecting a dividend, you just want a nice bullish play, then uh, doing the poor man one will work. Other than that, gang, that's going to be it. Like I said, I, I'm excited the markets are running up, but I'm going in, you know, just blah. And not, you know, 100% bullish. Change it up if market does a 180 on us here. So have a great rest of your weekend, gang. Keep an eye on those futures, and maybe one day I will see you live in chat. Take care.